Hang on. You be careful. Oh. You won't do that in 20 years, darling. Right then, yet again, we're going to ask for the services of the lovely wife who's armed and ready to show you just how easy it is to remove Citroen 2CV seats on the lighter version, may I add. Oh, we've got to lift these here pins. What here pins? These pins here. Don't okay. need a screwdriver. Pop it out with your fingers. Okay. <laughs> and just to be clear, those pins are located on the near ratchet. each other. And they're both next to each other. Yeah. Oh, that one's a bit tougher. Where the seat belt, where the seat belt buckles so are. This one's going to need the screwdriver. There we go. That one's gone, mate. Okay. There we go. And then we need to put them safe. Where are you going to put them safe? No way. Just pop them, put them there. Pull the ratchet to its fullest potential, which is. So the seat adjuster. Yeah. Nope. Right. Get it so far, and it's. Oh, we're doing it. Let's move those out of the way. Right, I'll have the camera a sec. Mm -hmm. It's actually a lot easier than I'm making it look. <laughs> but just here, we can see the end of the seat runner bolted to the floor of the car. This channel here, which is obviously fit to the bottom of the seat, just needs to clear that, like that. And as you can see, the seat is removed. Two seats. Now there's a reason why we took two seats out, not just to show you how to do it and how easy it should be, but we didn't make it look that easy. But because, of, but because we're going to attempt to set the covers off, get them cleaned, and do some repairs and fit new foam to the rear bench seat. So you're going to have to stay tuned, folks, to see how that goes on. If it's anything like removing the easy to remove seats, it should be fun. So all there is, is a little lever, ah. bolt, if you will. Pull it towards the inside of the car mm -hmm. until it releases from the hole there and then lift the seat. Right. Now if the wife can just keep the seat like that a minute. There you go. There we go. And as you can see, that seat peg just there. Lifts from that there uh, hole just there. I've got it. Got it. Right, my wife's armed with a vacuum, it's gonna get noisy. We might speed this up a bit, folks. See, if you're still watching this video, I just want to highlight the obvious. You're sitting at home or wherever you are, and you're watching someone vacuum a car. In this video, folks, we're going to strip down Citroen 2 CV seats. This could be easy. It could be really difficult. It looks like we've got something. Yeah, we've got a clip there. We'll hook, we'll hook this one. See how easy this is. <laughs> she says. Now, we don't know what we're doing, so. Bear with. Ah, there's we're learning the on the way. That's the end of the thing. Good. Now, yeah, we've got two clips. One that goes right through there. Now, how do we unhook this? That's the question. Okay. All that effort okay. for that clip. Well, this bar's popped himself out. That's fine. So we'll take that one out. That'll be this bar here then. Yep. Like that. Yep. Now we've got a bar with oil that's, I believe, or something at the end. Is it the same as that one, do you think? Oh, yep. It's the same as that one. Right. There we go. Right. Oh, it's the other end that's got oil that's on it. Yeah, maybe test look. Hopefully the cover slips off now. <laughs> 
Now the rubbers on this seat are fine. We may as well, although that's hidden, we may as well treat that for rust and put a bit of paint on it. Okay, you don't actually see it, but hopefully it'll give it a bit more life, a few more years of service. And it'll just make me feel better knowing that it's been done. We've now got a decision to make. We've only ordered foam and the adhesive, of course, and the new fabric for the rear bench. But looking at this seat, we'll see what the other seat looks like in a minute. I'm tempted to order new foam for that as well. I want you to crack on with this one. Rear bench. Next. <laughs> You're already doing the bars. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do. Hello spider. We might speed this bit up a bit folks. So the bar slides out. Yep. Yep. And now why should just slip out. There we go. Now the faff will be putting all these clips back in. Back on the new rubbers. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a stop count of how many rubbers have come off the back seat. Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Four, six, about 80. You think we only need to order some more? Yeah, but they come in a pack of 50. One seat base, which we are going to put new sponge on for sure. But I think we might end up putting new sponge on all the seats now. We've gone to the trouble of taking them all apart. We're going to try and sit on the seat now. I'm too old for this. Good women. Oh, so. As we sit sort of comfortable on a rear bench 2CV seat, stripped down to its component parts, we're going to leave it at that for this video. In this video, we'll be using this, 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 some 800 to 1200 grit sanding blocks, and one wife. Wife is optional. Now, this seat is sporting a couple of different or new straps. Now, these straps are from a good friend that lives local to me, who's obviously also a 2CV nut. Made them up himself. There's going to be two on this front seat and two on the driver's seat, or two on the other seat, just to give extra support. Now, they are quite a tough job getting them on, so as these are already on, I'm going to cheat and we're going to pre prep this seat, leaving those in situ. Are you ready for the task? I'm thinking I do one seat and Fran does the other. You look armed and ready. Should we go for this? Yes. We'll go for this. Do I get this could be fun. Is it done? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Is that good? Right, we need to wipe them down there, get rid of the dust. Two seats done, one bench to go. Right, I'm sitting down for my job. You're doing a grand job. Lots of crusties. Lots of crusties. Lots of crusties coming off. I think we're nearly ready for the next stage. Yep. Time to show what we're using. So it's Genolite Rust Converter. 
was recommended this product by our good friend Jonathan, the 2CV specialist. Now it does say on the bottle, as I sit in comfort again, that you can apply directly to the rust and it doesn't need any primer. But we're going to go a bit overboard, so we're going to use this to let it dry. So we're going to use an extra primer next, particularly where we put the rust treatment on. Then some primer. Then some paint. So you're watching a video that might be 10 15 minutes long, but uh, I think this can be a long day. This could be a long day. Yep. Long it day. Certainly is. Long day. I think these are dry. I think they're cooked. And that looks quite good, folks. Apart from me putting my greasy paw prints back over. One even coat of this coming up. Anyone want to have a guess what car that wheel's from? I'll give you a clue. Same model as the one holding on that sheet. My plan is I'm going to paint the top of the chassis board. Now I'm going to leave the seat rail in, but I have cleaned it up quite a bit and took some of the grease out because I'm going to put new grease in anyway. But I am taking the seat belt mountings off so I can get a good access to this little dip to get it cleaned and painted properly. Now they're supposed to be painted roughly over with the whatever colour the main body of the car is so technically this should have a blowover of white but it's our car it's currently black it's going to get rust treated with the same general light with the same general light stuff as we're using for the seat frames so that's the plan it's only surface rust on the top of this anyway Now Fran's helping again, look. Aren't right, you, my dear? Oh, you're up there. I'm up there. <laughs> Thought we'd better type it up a bit. We mean the paint, not the, not the wife. Are we done? Yes. It's a warm day today. It is. You've done a grand job. Thank you for your help. Okay. Now I've got to get back out. It's going to be a struggle. Yeah, yeah it's not too bad, I suppose, is it? Got... You be careful. You won't do that in 20 years, darling. You watch me. I would say that's uh, chemically reacted with the rust quite well. Time for etch primer. So we've currently got some Genolite on the top of the chassis plate. You all ready? Mm -hmm. We're going to be using. It's getting the sunrise. There you go. High coat edge primer. The standard primer everywhere. That looks all right. We're going to add some. Still that one to do. That one to do. I'm happy. Seeing all that rust gone. It's awesome. Thank you. 
ادامه داره Particularly pay attention to all the joins. still drawing, painted the top of the chassis plate, obviously that's where the seat belts go, took those off, didn't take this plate off, cheated but I did take the nuts off, I don't want to paint with the nuts tightened down, the nuts will go back in properly once it's all dry, but it's been rust treated and I'm very happy that it's looking better, although of course it's going to be hiding under a rubber mat most of the time. At least I know. At least I know it's fine. Of course, most of this that I've painted is going to be hiding behind seat covers, but I've just gone crazy with the paint. I've even done these bars and these little balls on the end there. They're the white balls that fit to there to remove the rear bench they're supposed to be white I'm sure the purists wouldn't be happy to paint them black but they're our car and they're black now and I'm happy what do you think? I'm quite happy with those today is rebuild today Morning. Morning. Rubbers. Black one, hooked one. Black one goes through the hole, hooked one goes round the bar. Start in the middle. Oh, I've got that bit done. Got back supports. 
There you go. <laughs> That's quite comfortable. Hmm? Yep, good. I could sit here and watch you do that one now. Ha <laughs> huh? Yep. Oh, okay, one then. Yep. You're making that look easy. what's been done so far then so all new rubbers and the special 2cv friend that lives around the corner straps and on the rear every other one is new and then we've picked the best of the older ones we've got a hundred of them all together and obviously the seats take more than a hundred I think that's looking very good It's time for spray adhesive. And then apparently you have to let that go tacky for five minutes. See you in five minutes. Clamp it down then. So now, now I'm going to offer up the back just to check. Yeah. Yep. Get an idea where the glue's going. It's literally going there on that, just up to there. Yep. Excellent. Glue time. The next seat we'll just do all in one. explain the obvious we're not doing the obvious this fabric reduces for the rear bench whereas for the base it's just a straightforward rectangle and obviously the hook has got to go behind a wire that runs along that linen Definitely need one of those. <laughs> when you're putting that hook through two pieces of linen, it goes through the first piece. It's all good. Just get it through the second. That's the back rest. 
completed. Yay. Can you spin the seat around? Yes, yeah, Seats that just need covers now. You up for the covers? We did cut the slots for the lower sponge, of course, but it's now time to put the covers on. At last. Two man job, do you think? Two man job. Yeah. One man, one woman job. <laughs> We have a workbench of sorts. How? Oh, it's gonna, warm in the sun. That's going to give me that out. Can me to do that? Oh, yes. And then it's supposed to twizzle over there and into the, like so. Of course, we are a bit old, so we've got to do the same with these bars. Just do the orchid end first. Still seems to be more fabric this side. Yep. That's the one that was. Um, it's bent round, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that, that had a plastic tie on it as well, didn't it? One cable tie. Needs to be there. And we need to get it to. Yeah. Now that had one of these hoops so I'll fight up the side to get off. I'm guessing we need four. So I saved a couple. I'll put the big one through there and hopefully we can get it to behind one of these bars. We now have two seats. Okay, there's a little bit of blue sponge showing in the corner. But otherwise, looking good and feeling really comfortable. Good. One bench to do. No. Le Corvair. Le Corvair. I'm sure that's not French, but there you go. You see this one is. The backless. So no stress of getting the cover on. So we're going to slide it through the hole there. The camera's probably not going to see that. There you go. So that bar has got to go. There you go. It's through there. Through that hole. And through the other seat. And into the hole here. And through this, go go into this hole here. Have you put yours in? My hole's in. Yeah. Thought it fair to show you again, so it's the same principle for the top. Is so it, it goes through one side of the seat. Cover. Yeah, the seat cover, should I say. And then it has to go through the bar. Oh. So there is a gap in this, in the middle of the seat. And then of course it's got to get through that, all the way through the other side. And then it's got to be located in a hole just there. I'm supposed to have a myriad of these things to hook it all back up at the back. Yeah, we're almost there though. Yep. I'm having a sit. Yeah, I'm going to have a sit. Oh. 
Does that feel comfortable? We have. Finish sheets. Uh, note to self. We don't mind being wrong. We've realised with the linen, how to have turned it that way round, you wouldn't see the stitching. Bits. But having said that, it's They're all clean, clean, all new sponge, all new linen. The seat frames have been rubbed down, rust treated, etch primed, then normal primer, and then black paint. And I think. That's afforded our seats many more years of service. On driver's seat. Can I remember to put the rubber spices on? Two, three. That's an easy seat to do, that was. 